certain way. And if anyone is just getting in coffee, what's the first thing they do? They'll go online and they'll research it. And all the research will talk about caffeine, will talk about resting coffee, it will talk about all these things, and people won't test it. When I, when you have to test the coffee, we're just talking about this, coffee's like wine, you have to test it side by side. There's a very these subtle differences, especially when you're trying to focus on the energy of the coffee. Side by side, so what does that mean? That means you need a two-group espresso machine so you can pull the shot at the same time. Same means, espresso machine? Huh? Same espresso same machine. Same espresso machine, two group though. Two espresso machine, another uh, espresso machine will give you another result. <laughs> yes, so the same espresso machine, but two groups, meaning so you could pull at the same time. <laughs> two yeah. different grinders, because you're going to have a little <laughs> bit difference in the grind setting from a uh, coffee that has not been roasted at the exact same time. The roast is, is not going to be perfectly identical, but if you're color matching and getting it pretty close, you can get it pretty close. And then you have to taste them virtually uh, identically at, at the same time. Go one, clean your palate with water, go the other. So it's not an easy thing. It really is very difficult. And that's why it's much easier to read other people's, what other people are talking about online without doing the test yourself. And this is what got me to have to test again and again and again for two years. Because I test, huh, I'm getting the same blind taste test, I'm getting the same result every time. Talk to a coffee professional, oh no, no, that's not. You have to let it rest, you know, it's better if it rests. It develops and flavors all this kind of thing. Right? Just repeating the same thing that you, the information that you find. And finally, after two years, I went, you know what? I don't know. I think I'm on to something here. This feels like that I'm the one that's saying the emperor has no clothes, you know, and standing out. Um, and it, it, it took a lot of uh, uh, testing and it took a lot of uh, proof to myself that what I was experiencing was valid and it was true. And then starting to talk about it, it becomes a difficult thing because, like you said, it's not what people are focused on. It's not what people are talking about. But in Ethiopia, it's been done the same way for over a thousand years. You know, it's indigenous culture. I didn't make this thing up. They're doing the same, same thing, roast grind brew. They're not saving it for another time. And in that thousand year period, I thought, don't you think they would have tried that? Don't you think they would have said, hey, let's, let's, let's leave it for tomorrow, let's have it a week after? Of course they try that. But what were they ended up doing? It's the same ceremony they used right away. So, um, it is a new way of looking at it. But I think more and more people, because more and more people are home roasting like you guys are, they're understanding that, wow, this is really good. And the fresher I have it, it just feels better. When you have it and do it in, with your own experience, then you know you start to believe it. And if enough people say, yeah, that's the same experience that I'm getting, I'm involved in some Facebook groups, home roasting Facebook groups. And when I initially put that, don't rest <coughs> coffee after roasting, I'll have so many people jump on me and say, no, it has to rest, blah, blah, blah. And then there'll be a few people that says, I agree with you, same thing. But they don't speak out about it because everyone jumps on them. <laughs> you know, so it's like this, it's, it, it, it's like people don't want to talk about it because and people get very passionate about it and, and say how, uh, no, that's the way it is. It's just, that's the fact. You have to do it that way. So... Yeah, it's an uh, interesting uh, process and uh, journey. Okay, uh, questions? Uh, did you try to compare your roaster with the uh, industrial stuff of roasting, like bay or hot top? 
Silver. Gene uh, so I'm, I'm, I, I've used some of those roasters. Yeah. I've seen uh, what they what is it? What they've done. Uh, the Bemore, I'm familiar with the SR series, mm -hmm. the 500, the 700. I created my own commercial roaster, one kilo and an eight kilo drum roaster using propane, heating by propane. Um, one of the things that I like about the fluid bed roasting, which is just electricity and hot air, it feels to me like it's a cleaner process because that propane that's being heated, most drum roasters, the biggest roasters in the world use uh, propane uh, to heat. Well, you know, I know. Propane has additives, mm -hmm. right? So what's actually getting in the coffee bean? Doesn't seem so clean to me. Whereas electricity and hot air, that's a much cleaner process. So that feels to me cleaner in that way. As far as uh, Roasting for six minutes versus two hours, drum roasts versus <coughs> air roasting. Can I tell the difference in the quality of the coffee? I cannot tell the difference. But what about in the taste? I, I cannot tell the difference. It doesn't, it, if, if someone presented me with a coffee that was fresh roasted but didn't tell me how it was fresh roasted, I don't think I'd be able to tell any idea of um, Between difference. six minutes to 20, let's say? Between six minutes to two hours. I, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. So it feels to me like coffee's like popcorn. Once it pops, it's done. That's what it feels to me. And, and with the cracking, with with the uh, uh, the way um, the the sugars in, in the coffee are caramelized, yeah. all those processes <laughs> eventually happen anyway at a certain temperature. Yeah. So it feels to me like once that's done, it's done. So it will the same effect within two hours. Yeah, I mean, so it doesn't the matter the if you start like with a lower temperature or with a <laughs> higher temperature, and you extend know the, the, the roasting period. The uh, so. roast profiles, yeah. I think, is bullshit. You think so? I think it's bullshit because, and I say it, this is why. Mm -hmm. You can roast the exact same coffee, mm -hmm. right? If the barometric pressure is different from day to day, mm -hmm. if the ambient temperature is different, mm -hmm. it's going to roast different. Yeah, of course. You cannot take that exact computer profile, put it on that screen, and get the exact same result. I do not believe because of that, because these other elements that are out of our control, yeah. we don't have, uh, um, uh, we're not doing it in a laboratory yeah, yeah, that has yeah. a closed system, right? So, I, and the other thing is a coffee is a natural product, something that grew on a tree. It's yeah, yeah. not something that was stamped in a computer factory, you know, that everything is the exact same. This is a, this is a natural product. So if that coffee bean that you're using today was picked a day later than the one you used yesterday, I think that's going to have an effect too. So I really, I, I think that computer, uh, I think you can get close, but yeah. as far as having the exact same result, I don't believe it's possible. But I don't think anyone here claims that he gets all 100% uh, the same result in each and every batch he, 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 he roasts, okay? But I do think we're getting close, very close to the same result each, in each and every row. I mean, that's what I think about my rows. Yeah, and and, and but, I think, but if, uh, oh, but yeah, I, I do uh, think that the other uh, elements do uh, affect uh, the result at the end. Um, but you know what? Maybe I'll give it a try to try roasting for six minutes and then try roasting for. 45 minutes and, and see what what will come up. It, as long as you're color matching and you're getting the same yeah, result yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, in, yeah. in the end and doing yeah, it that yeah. way. Um, but I think getting it close, I think you can do that visually. This is how I like the coffee you know, roasted. You're looking for uh, a certain color, stopping it one day and stopping it the next day. I don't yeah, think yeah. you need a computer program. And these machines and these computer programs it costs tens of thousands of dollars, and it's keeping the guy who wants to just roast some coffee easily and simply in their home confused and feeling intimidated to even get started. And that's why I said, you but know, the I commercial, gotta, the big commercial right. roasters are not, not only computered; yeah. it's also with uh, devices that 
check the colors, and they know to stop exactly the color that they the color, want. The color, the humidity, and yes, uh, and everything. They they check all the the environment the parameters. Right? Yes, because so the, it the, they are getting a very close uh, result every time. Right. It, it's not uh, that uh, each batch will be another. If they they use the same coffee. They will get a very close, and this is you can say about Lavazza and Ili and everybody. They, the coffee that they gave, they sell. Usually, it's the same taste. Okay, so and all they're going for is consistency, like yes. Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. roast it very dark. You yeah. get the consistency. It's and what I'm, what I'm saying is, okay, they're using all this technology to get the exact same roast every time. Yes, and then they're putting it in a bag and they're putting it on the store yeah. shelf. And by the time the customer has it, it's dead. I'm saying that is an old business model that I don't think produces the best coffee. I don't think it serves the customer. I can agree with that. I, I, I think it's a, it's a diversion and it's built for profit, not built to get the customer the best coffee and the best coffee what experience. Do you think? I agree. Yeah, I can agree with I know that. what I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I partly agree. Because, uh, I think that I think uh, as far as the freshness, you're right. It's not fresh, but for taste, you can taste much better. The only taste than uh, fresh roasted coffee in in a non-professional form, non-professional roaster, or someone even someone who calls himself a professional roaster. He doesn't get a special taste. Yes, his, his coffee is fresh, but uh, to get out of the coffee bean a special taste, very few people know how to do it. No, but we compare the apples to apples. We're talking about a, a professional roaster with a, a <coughs> professional roast, and then uh, with, with, the, about branded, with high quality branded uh, coffee, uh, beans. Branded Italian coffee. Yeah. You will never get at home uh, the taste of Lavazza, or Maro, or anything else. You get the good coffee, but you never no, 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 but no. have your taste. I'm not saying this is a better coffee than what you, we make at home, but as far as taste, it tastes... It's, I do not agree. It has yes. a special taste. I do not agree. I, I tasted Lavazza and uh, I roast at home, not professional roast. I'm talking only, only about <coughs> taste, not the feeling. Yeah. No, 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 no. Even about taste, I would say you have to do a blind taste test to make that claim. Yeah. And I don't yeah. think people do. Because it's very difficult Maybe. to do. There are do many it. factors. When you make, how you, what machine did you use? How you grinded it? What uh, kind of water did you use? And so many factors. Right. Even if you, when you make at home coffee, uh, it, it, it's very hard to make the same cup of coffee exactly the same. Right. Espresso. Even Agreed. Espresso. Espresso. Five but minutes not, after. But not other. If you are Even doing if you a take French the French press. temperature and the, the no. amount of uh, the liquid and no. the time, if everything the same, it won't always uh, taste one hundred percent the same. This is how it is with coffee. So with espresso. Factors. With espresso. espresso. Not with a, not with a French press or, or drip. Espresso. Only espresso. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to answer you. Um, you know, the Israeli like uh, bitter coffee. And I ask myself why the Israeli ask, and a lot of people come to me, I need a strong coffee, a bitter coffee. I ask myself why. Why the Israeli like a bitter coffee? And uh, I found my, uh, my answer is that from the army. Why? The army, in the army you are drinking the black coffee from elite, you know, the black coffee. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's strong coffee, it's bitter. And you used to it, okay? Now, like beer, like whiskey, like other drinks, when you start the first drink of beer, it was, I know when I first time I drink beer, it was awful. But now if I drink beer, I like it. Why? Because I used to it. When you used to something, you like it. And I know that I drink fresh coffee now, it's wonderful. I like it a lot. If I try now to drink Lavazza coffee, it's awful for me. 
I have here Diame. It's one of the best coffee in the market. I can't drink it. You know, if, if somebody come and I have to do, to do a cup and to drink with him, I, I give a zip and I put it in the side. It's a wonderful coffee. But it's not wonderful for me. It's wonderful for him. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you have to use to coffee to try coffee a lot. And then you have to say it's not good. I think after five, ten times you will drink fresh coffee. Then you cannot go back. So uh, the, you, you mentioned something that uh, uh, I, just, I want to uh, make a point, and that is bitterness. People equate strong coffee yeah, bitter. with bitter coffee, mm -hmm. and it's the opposite. So what happens with coffee is the older, the deader it is, the more it's been sitting, the more bitter it is. What does that tell you? All of these stuff over top, the sourness, the antioxidants, all this other stuff has to leave before you taste that bitterness. That is a less strong coffee. The more strong coffee, that's more potent, has more flavors, has more chemical substances, is not bitter. And when you drink that and get that rounded taste, but we've been conditioned, and this is what I'm saying, we've been conditioned to believe Bitterness is strength. Starbucks, I want a bitter coffee. You want an old, dead, stale coffee that is roasted very dark. That's what Starbucks is, right? So it's, it's interesting. We have to change the way we look at it, the way we describe it, and that takes time. So uh, the first commercial coffee roaster was invented in 1864. And the guy, I, I did this research uh, for my book. I wrote a book. It's called uh, Coffee, the Fourth Wave, a Fresh Roasting Revolution. Because I believe we're in the fourth wave now of coffee. And I call it a fresh roasting revolution because I think fresh roasting is going to be the main focus in this, uh, this next uh, stage. Um, so the guy who invented it, his name was Jabez Burns. <coughs> he invented it in New York State. And it was the first commercial coffee roaster, 1864. At that time, everyone in America and everyone in Europe roasted their own coffee. And the way they did it was you might have seen these little cylinders. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a little flame and they're going like this. Yeah. For what, 20 minutes? Yeah, I mean, what a pain in the butt, yeah, right? Yeah. Like yeah. this. Yeah. 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 It took the commercial roaster, roasters, 10 years to convince people that they should take what they're doing and let the, the big commercial coffee roasters roast it and then deliver it to them. They almost went bankrupt. They, it was very, very difficult to do. Yeah, that's the, uh, this is the, the, uh, yeah. uh, the, 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 the simple, you know, what a pain, pain, right? So it almost, the commercial coffee almost didn't work. Ten years to get people to stop doing this and to buy the, and now we're going the other way. It's taken years to convince people, roast your own coffee, it's a better experience, you'll get a much better coffee, and now the big commercial coffee roasters, back then, earlier, were probably delivering a few times a week, but now it's like these huge bags. No, but now they started opening a, a specialty coffee store shops. Talking about uh, companies like uh, Lavazza and uh, others, and they're starting to move toward fresh coffee, fresh roasted. Yeah, You're roasting right. In yeah, the yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Even Starbucks, by the way, the yeah. Starbucks has a very fresh. huge uh, coffee shop in uh, the state in New York, with a right. big roaster in the uh -huh. middle, in the east, in, in the center, uh -huh. and uh, you can buy fresh coffee there. It's a third level, Lavazza third level coffee. Yeah. Shop. They also have the uh, how about River the smell? In, uh, hmm? I don't know. Which, when you uh, the coffee, the smell I can show you. I can show you the show. <laughs> Which uh, company is it? No, once one you, of the, you wait a few hours, the and Italian the smell company is, uh, in Milan. Yeah. They have uh -huh. to a huge, it up. But a huge uh, uh, coffee so, shop with roasters, uh, huge roasters. Uh -huh. uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of roasters. I always go if. if people have a roaster and usually if it's one of the big machines 
that they want to display, uh, I go in and I say, how often do you roast? And mostly, they roast once a week. Oh, really? Yes. They don't roast every day because they pay the roaster to come in. They only want to pay him once a week. So he comes in and all day he'll roast these huge quantities once a week. And I'm like, you know, why not have micro roaster, micro micro roaster, do it at home, roast it every day, roast it once every two days. You know, if it's convenient enough, if you can do it in a short enough period of time, I think that a good portion of the market will go through that process. And when you experience roasting your own coffee and you see it, you hear it cracking, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, uh becomes a ritual. You know, you really start to enjoy that process of how that coffee changes uh, in your roaster and then the result that you get. So. Um, I think this is uh, uh, all, you know, slowly developing, but it's, it's something that takes time. It takes time to change people's habits, and it took time to change people's habits of roasting their own to accepting commercially roasted coffee, and now I think we're going the other way. So what are you saying is actually if you drink the coffee right after you roast it, it's better than uh, three days after? Absolutely. I, I, I can feel... I in can terms feel. of taste? Not, no. In, no, no. In, uh, in terms of feeling. No, but in what term, I'm trying yeah. to, to understand yes. if it's in terms of taste too. Or only feeling. Taste? The definition of taste to me flavors. is very yeah, different. Flavors. It's not flavors, it's about freshness. It's about aliveness. So, um, in that respect, for a while I was uh, eating just raw food. When you eat raw food, the energy and the power of the food is, I mean, it's amazing. When you eat uh, food that's just been prepared, that is alive, living food, you eat it and you feel the energy from the food. And you can see this with something called curly in photography. Have you ever seen curly in photography? This is Starbucks third wave uh, coffee shop. Mm -hmm. uh, there is one second. Uh. So I believe you can taste freshness. I believe you can you can experience energy in that way, but it doesn't come out of a particular. This is flavor. the roaster it's inside in the feeling. center of the coffee shop. Mm. This is the roaster and. No, this is the menu, by the way. Uh, also vacuum, also drip, everything you can get here. Uh, you can see here, a lot of people are drinking another coffee, not espresso, another coffee. The drip. The drip, yeah. the vacuum, the, the French press. Uh, this is the, the new way for Starbucks to say, we also in the third way. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's cool, but still you need to buy only, let's say, 100 grams per day. Is this what you call the <laughs> To get wave? it fresh. Hmm? Is this what you call the third way? No, the third way is to use a fresh, not, not a fresh, I don't think, yeah. it is, to use a speciality coffee and to change the way of you think about coffee like you think about wine. Mm -hmm. To, to give to coffee respect. is not is not a to drink it differently like to, to yeah, I got it. what what people say is like uh, what the third way is saying like uh, the way that people consume wine and beer that you know you go out uh, uh, and you, you sit you know with guys on a beer and you you enjoy it and and it's not something like um, you just drink it on the way or to get energy or you know to get a coffee or yeah. whatever so like ceremony yeah yeah. Okay, so also you, you want to know the which, which wine you drink. So the way you roast yeah, yeah. it and the way you make it. And, 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 and where it's from too. And yeah, very origin. precise uh, right. procedure. Right. 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 To buy from a special important. farmer and then to roast it and then, uh, right. and then how you prepare it. Right. Has to be so let me, let me ask you, if, uh, for those of you who roast at home, is this impressive? Would you go in there and think, or would, would, would you think, I'm doing a, just as good a job 
you know, at home. I don't need, uh, you know, I mean, it feels to me like this is a big show. Is yeah. it, right? It's, it's a big is, show. Is, 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 is. And Sorry. it will ultimately, I think, have the opposite effect of educating people to fresh roasted rather than going into a Starbucks and not seeing the roaster, but educating people as to all these different uh, methods uh, to use it, and maybe they start to think, hey, their friend says, I'm doing it at home. Really? How are you doing that? Well, you know, and then maybe they start doing it at home. You know, so... Uh, I think uh, um, coffee is, uh, is not only a, a drink that you drink at home. I think it's a social thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and also uh, uh, alcohol, uh, I mean beer and wine, it's not only, I mean, people do uh, uh, brew beer at, at, at their homes, okay? But still, you do go out and, and, and drink uh, uh, beers uh, oh, with, with guys, you know, it's on a social evening. So I don't think it comes uh, um, as a replacement, okay? But I do think it's a different experience, yeah. And, uh, it's also it's a commercial thing. Yeah, we, we, I don't think it's a, it's a something that comes and then try to educate people uh, to drink fresh coffee. Okay, they don't care. They don't give a damn. Uh, so, uh, but it's a different way to, to and I think it's going. On, I, I like it because coffee. It's not only a, a, an energy drink. Okay, it's a social thing. And. That's why I like it, but I don't think it, they're trying to educate someone to, to drink a fresh coffee. Uh, I think uh, we, we have to finish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, if, we turn the clock, if we turn the clock back to uh, the Ethiopian coffee ceremony, and then what happened with the explosion of coffee right after that, which was the cafes in Europe. Uh, in uh, uh, in the U.S., all over the world, and if we look at how they were preparing their coffee, uh, this roast, grind, brew pot process, and who was attracted to be there, which was the artists, the intellectuals, people who were using this for uh, a different experience, not for the caffeine buzz in order to get in a car to get to work, you know, but something more expansive then uh, feels to me like that is what is going to come into people's understanding of really what coffee is all about. It's the most psycho, it's, it's the widest used psychoactive drug in the world. And I think that um, it can help awaken people um, in consciousness and the ability to focus and the ability to create. So I really see it as uh, a benefit that we're coming into this new way of uh, looking at it and experiencing. So I love that you guys are, you know, roasting or getting into it and passionate about it. People are so passionate about it and that's really uh, good to see because uh, it shows that it's going to uh, last for quite a while. So thank you very much for uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think uh,